Time travellers, welcome to the amazing land of the Vikings. We're in Norway for the first stage of the new season of Strongman Champions League World Series 2017. Welcome to the wilderness of Vinstra, where you'll encounter nature in its raw estate. Here we will start the new exciting World Series that will go on throughout 2017 for the title of World's Strongest Man in the World's Strongest League. And we will also crown the World's Strongest Viking for 2017. Here's the start list then. Four competitors from Norway in all, others from Scandinavia and other athletes have travelled from far and wide. Luke Herrick from the USA, JF Caron from Canada. Talent travelling from all over the world for the first stage of Strongman Champions League. The competition is being held here at the Fefor Arena in a lovely Norwegian town called Vinsha. It really is an amazing place, the surroundings absolutely perfect. Welcome in a new season, Strongman Champions League. We are here in Norway, the land of the Vikings. Coldness, ice, snow, everything is here. Today, as you see, it's sunny. I'm very happy for that. Now, GF Caron, he is here, the title defender for the world's strongest Viking. Uh, he had it last year. Will he get the maximum points? Again, 25 points for the world title this year in Strongman Champions League. Just as there were centuries ago, there are fighting Vikings here to see. The start of competition is signified with the Viking Horn. The Vikings were seafaring people from the late 8th to the early 11th century who established a name for themselves as traders, explorers and warriors. They discovered the Americas long before Columbus and could be found as far east as the distant reaches of Russia. While these people are often attributed as savages raiding the more civilized nations for treasure and women, the motives and culture of the Viking people are much more diverse. These raiders also facilitated many changes throughout the lands, from economics to warfare. This year, with a temperature of minus 15, we have 12 top-class athletes from all over the world. They will fight in the world's strongest league for this special Scandinavian title of the world's strongest Viking for 2017, all in stage one of this year's Strongman Champions League. The athletes are here, everybody's ready. Let's get this show started. Well, Canada's JF Caron took fourth place in last year's World Finals in Dubai. Last season, he got some good results, including the title of World's Strongest Viking in 2016. The question is, can he defend his title? JF, welcome here in Norway. We just saw you doing the warm-up. You can feel the air here, huh? Yes, it's very fresh air. Today, around zero degrees. It's perfect weather to compete. Uh, I train hard for this contest. I want to defend my title. I have good event this year, but uh, Norikul is old. I think it's one of my favorite here in FIFA, 4 but not for, for this year, but I have other good events. Uh, I hope I win this year. Uh, well, as I just want to say, you are here to defend your title, World Strongest Viking 2016. We are kicking off the new season here, 2017, and also you uh, finished in Dubai in the finals on the fourth place for the World Championship. Um, what do you think? Are you going to improve this year? Yes, of course, I, uh, I improve. I uh, go up with my body weight. I train very hard also because I need to do big competition this year. And now I'm 34, maybe just a few years of career again, and I push to maximum, of course. Well, as I heard, uh, Stormy Champions League will be also in Canada this year. So that will be nice. Um, trying to get in the top three of the world title, maybe get the world title anyway. Uh, do your best in Canada. It will help, I think, when you're in your own country. Really. Yes, of course, because uh, all the time I compete in Europe, I have jet lag, <laughs> you know, and now we inverse the role, you know. Uh, no, no jet lag for me and jet lag for other competitors, of course, is a big advantage. Uh, also, we have equipment. I'm, uh, I can familiar, familiarize with this, maybe the same than the Storm and Secret. And uh, at the, normally in July, at the moment, when the Champions League come in Canada, I'm in the best shape. That's all promising to see GF in his own country, in Canada. Hey, uh, just last question. What is your expectation here in uh, Strongman Champions League Norway for the Viking title again? Top three or taking the title again? I'm here for the title. Nothing less. Nothing less. <laughs> here come the athletes then. 12 in all, four of them in their native country. And among them, Krzysztof Radzikowski from Poland as well. Runner up last year, can he win this title for a third time? Yeah. 
We are here with 12 strong men of the world, maybe the strongest of the world, here in the Viking. Strongman Champions League Norway starts his kickoff 2017 here. So the little Vikings take the strongmen to the field. And the referees for this event, Ilka Kinnanen from Finland, along with Irving Katona from Serbia. Here we go then, the first event of 2017, the forward hold. A 30 kilogram piece of wood with chains. The goal is simple, hold it for as long as possible. First up, Bjorn Solvang from Norway. How long will he be able to hold this out in front? A bit of a change from last year when it was a Viking sword. Doing okay for now as he passes the 10 second mark. Plenty of encouragement from everyone here watching as well. Norway strongest man from 2015. Also won it in the three years previous to that as well. It's going well here at the moment as he sets the first time. A grimace in his face now. It's slowly going down. And Bjorn Solvang puts Thank the first you. time on the leaderboard. 48.24 for Solvang. My name is Luke Herrick, 37 years old. I'm from Dallas, Texas, and this is my first Champions League competition to compete in. My best deadlift is 390 kilos, along with my overhead press, which is a 460 pound log. My expectation is to win but I want to compete. I want to show the world what Luke Herrick really can do. And that's my bottom line. So then, Luke Herrick, 37 years old, 170 kilos. What can he do? Can he beat the time set by Solvac? He's come a long old way from the United States of America. Took third place at the Arnold Amateur Strongman in 2015. Passes the 15 second mark as the referee here just tells him to adjust his position. A bit of an angle on the log here. Arms starting to tremble. 48-24, the time to beat. Five seconds to go. Can he do it? Starting the struggle now. Can Luke Kerry get past? He can. Now how long can he hold on? Just a few seconds more. Luke, your first tournament Champions League, your first event. Hey, taking the lead already. <laughs> I'm excited. Yeah, wow. I'm just I'm just happy to be here and just I'm just ready to get going. Thank you for having me out here. 51 seconds, man. Yeah. You beat even the the record from Bjorn here, that which is fantastic. Is that right? I'm yeah. just I'm just lucky. <laughs> just got lucky. Hey, we look forward to the next event. Yeah, I do. Thanks, Thank you. Well, he'll be happy with that. 51.62 for the American. So, Christoph Radzikowski. Plenty expected of him. Runner-up last year, winner in 2013 and 2015 of the Strongman Champions League. Plenty of focus. Mental strength needed for this one as well. He keeps his eyes shut. He's got a good position for now. Just needs to get himself over 51 seconds. He's approaching that now as the lock begins to dip. Can he hold on? No, he can't. And Radzikowski just falls below the required time. 45.68 for the pole. So it's Will Baggett from the United Kingdom next up. 30 years old in his first ever Strongman Champions League competition. He makes his debut here in Norway and has 51 seconds to beat. Pretty steady for now. All about the strength in the shoulders, this one. Starting to angle there. Can he hold on just over the 40 second mark? And he doesn't quite reach the required time. Hey, Will. Hello. Your first time in Sturma Champions League here in Norway. Good event for you. Almost beat Christoph on four seconds. I just nearly beat him. I had it in my head. I wanted to get at least one of the top guys and take a, take you, a scalp. How did you find this block, this forward hold? 30 it's horrible. It's not an easy, normal front hold, easy. 
wide like that, you've got your chest involved, your forearms start aching. Hey, nothing, nothing is normal in the land of Vikings. I was shaking from the, well, from the cold anyway, but it's, it's an amazing country, amazing place, so really love it. Well, I look forward to see you in the next uh, events here in this competition. Cheers, thank you. Thank you. Cheers. So Will Baggett clocks in with 42.2 on a decent first time. J.F. Caron, the Canadian, next up. He says this is his least favourite event, so it'll be interesting to see how he does. There's the Atlas Stones, but it's the forward hold here. 51.62, the time to beat at the moment, set by Luke Herrick. Going OK for now, although a bit of struggle evident now on the face of the Canadian... Will he reach the 50-second mark? No, he won't. The referee calls time on that one. Jeff Caron's attempt is over with a time of 47.9. Ola Martin Christiansen from Norway. One of the younger competitors here, just the age of 24. Pretty strong stance here. The youngster. And the four Norwegians in this stage, all looking to become the world's strongest Viking. Just adjusts the log a little bit as he brings it down, but not very steady now. He's going up and down. Can he keep it? Approaching 50 seconds and down. Well, no one at the moment can quite get near Herrick. And that one just short of 50 seconds as well. 49.29. Look, fantastic performance. You won the forward hold here in the first stage. Stormer Champions League 2017. Yes, I did. I, I don't know how I did it. All I know is I just kept on holding on. So that's all I had in me. <laughs> well, it was enough. 51 seconds. You beat Bjorn, you beat Christoph, you beat Diev Karan. Not the weakest people on the earth. No, I have a lot of respect for those guys. So I'm just, I'm here to just enjoy this and soak it all in. Well, another nice thing, you earned the leader shirt, man. You are the leader for today and maybe for the whole season. Who knows? We'll see. We'll see. Well, earn it with all, you earned it with honor, carry it with honor, and let's see who's the leader on the end. Thank you, sir. I appreciate that. So here's how it ended up. Luke Herrick leading the way with 12 points. Having made 50 seconds, the only athlete to do so. Bit of room to improve for Sean O'Hagan, Jorgen Auckland and Johan Espen Krona. Sean O'Hagan is the strongest man in Ireland and the biggest strong man in the whole world. He's a newcomer in this sport and already one of the biggest talents in the Strongman Champions League. I'm Sean O'Hagan, I'm 26 and I'm weighing, or I'm weighing in at 197 kilo. So I'm, and I'm 6 foot 11 and a half. Last year he did great deadlifts at Strongman Champions League in Portugal, great Atlas Stones and very heavy framework in Germany, but he just missed the 2016 World Finals. Deadlift at the minute time is 390. I hope to be in the finals this year, it's a big plan. This man clearly has a plan, to be in the World Finals as the biggest strongman ever in Gran Canaria 2017. Time for the second event then, it's the boat pull. Pulling the three ton Viking boat 25 metres through the snow requires a lot of exertion of the muscles of the shoulders, arms and back. The winner is the fastest strongman or the one with the best length within the time limit. So Sean O'Hagan, the 2015 strongest man of Ireland, nicknamed the Giant. And it's a giant boat that he's having to pull along here. Not too much friction on this slippery snow. He passes the 10 second mark and he's probably going to do this sub 20. Not too far to go now as he crosses the line. Sean O'Hagan should be happy with that. Sean, <laughs> all the way from Ireland in Viking land. How do you like it here? Oh, it's class. The crowd's all good. The scenery's unreal. So hey, big man with a big boat. 18 seconds, 96. Good time or what do you think? Yeah, it's okay. It's good. We're a bit slow at the start, but it's all good. Hey, it's, uh, it's your first time here in Norway? 
Yeah, it is. It's class. <laughs> well, I wish you good luck today, man. Thank you. <laughs> So, 18.93 for Sean O'Hagan, off to a good start. Next up, Antti Murayavi from Finland. 40 kilos lighter than O'Hagan. Let's see how much of a difference it makes. Steady start as he pushes off on that left foot. Gradually getting his way towards the finish line. Maybe just over the 18 mark, or will it be under? Just under. Happy about it as well. 17.78 for the fin. So, Jan Alav Grani next up, another Norwegian. Sporting his country's colours in his bubble hat. Less than steady start there. As he tries to get some grip. As you can see, 17.78 the time to beat. He's doing okay now. Some good momentum. Can he keep it going? Just over 18 seconds. And it was only just 18.15 for Granley. So Christoph Radzikowski. So much expected of him his chance to put down a mark in this event three tons this Viking boat it's 25 meters he's got to pull it and he's done it very quickly indeed just over 16 seconds Christoph 16.60 seconds first place so far yes I need point I was fifth in front court I need point for point now, then I must be into the other. Pretty tired after that one, I'm not surprised either. 16.67, the fastest time so far. On to JF Caron. What can he do in this event? Here he goes, the Canadian. He's struggling to get any kind of rhythm here in the early stages. He's got it together now. Boat is flying towards the finish, but it's going to be a slower time. Just under 19 seconds. GF, I think your speed was fast enough, but the start didn't work well. Huh? Yeah, I missed the start. I tried to push in the chain to get better start, but it's not working. Maybe, maybe I lose a few points, but it's very easy pull, you know, 18 seconds. Everybody almost in the same time. <laughs> For everybody, the start is the biggest problem, you know, to, to get away with it. Uh, fourth place so far. Well, it's not so bad. I have good events to come. It's okay. Good luck. Thanks. So pretty happy overall, JF Karat. 18.81. Luke Herrick then next up, having won the first event. As he put those 12 points on the board, what can he add to it here in the boat pool? Slip early doors, that's not good at all. And he's lost the grip on the bottom of his shoe. This could really cost him. Well, he's not going to get anywhere near the fastest time. He just needs to get over the line as quickly as possible now. After that early error, over 22 seconds. Not ideal at all there. Luke, also a spike problem I see here. Yes, sir. Ain't nothing like it. <laughs> Nothing ever is easy. Johan Espicona had the same. Uh, well, you can say it's a technical mistake, or is it your first time you have spikes? Yes, sir. Very first. Play with these things. First time in the snow, I guess. Huh? Probably, yeah. In a while. Okay, it was a good pull. You know, it, it was not heavy. The start was difficult, yeah. but it was all about the spike. Isn't it? Absolutely. Are you disappointed? No, no. There's more events. I'm not done. Hey, that's the spirit. USA going. Yes, sir. Well, good spirits there from Luke Herrick, but the time isn't the best. 22.85, which will put him near the bottom of the standings. So then here's the results. Christoph Radzikowski is second quicker than Murayavi in second. He and Granley with better results after a poor first round. And here's how things are overall. Radzikowski improves his position as he heads to the top of the standings. But leader Luke Herrick has now dropped down to sixth, level on points with Antti Murayavi in fourth.
We already broke a thousand year old world record with this big log, 612 kilos. The world record breaker, Hafter Bjornsson. But today we have a new event, a big log of 412 kilos, 10 meters long. Look at this. Athletes have to walk with this 20 meters. 20 meters, the whole course, instead of five steps with the old log. I want to see who's going to break a new world record here in Strongman Champions League, Norway. Well, sub-zero temperatures, but everyone's still enjoying themselves here. So we're about to move on to the third event of the day, the yoke race. Well, as Marcel said, it's the yoke race now. A 10 meter long log that weighs 412 kilos that the contestants will carry on the shoulders for 20 meters or as long as they possibly can. So the big Swede, Johan Espen Kroner up first, the 35 year old, weighing in at 148 kilos. All about the strength and the balance in this one as well. They look to keep the log level. They drive forward with it, just toppling over to the right before getting it back central now. Over the line in just over 16 seconds. Espen Kroner. Setting the mark there, just below 16 and a half seconds. It's Will Baggett, the Englishman, who's back. His first ever Champions League campaign. And it's tough going for him early on. He'll have been under no illusions about how tough this was going to be, but he's giving it a right old go. Approaching 20 seconds now, a little bit slower than Espen Krona. And he'll cross the line in just over 22 seconds. 22.78 overall for Will Baggett. A decent effort. Luke Herrick then. Back up again. That was grip all wrong in the last round. It's not a good start from him then. It's a really good start from him here as he powers towards the line. Time to beat 16.32. You'd imagine he's going to do that, and in some style as well. Wow, man, Mr. America. 11 seconds with this 412 kilo lock. Wow. I, I, was a, I blurred it. I just went for it. You went for it. You put it on your shoulders and run with it. Yes, sir. That's, that's what I do back home, so I train. Well, how about that for an effort? 11-11. Superb stuff from Herrick. Jorgen Auckland up next, the Norwegian. Another youngster at just 26 years old. Will do well to get near Herrick's time. It's going okay for now. He's not going to reach 11 seconds though. Maybe nearer the 20 second mark. It's a good pace in the end as he crosses the line. And the Norwegian checks in with 16.18. JF Caron up next. What can he produce in this event? As he takes on the yoke race. The inspirational music in the background as well as he powers forward. He's not to stop yet. He keeps on going. He crosses the line in just over 15 seconds. He'll be happy with that. JF, 15 seconds. Second place. I think you're happy with that. Yes, but I can go a little bit faster, I think. But when I start to put more speed, the yoke slip in my back. A little bit, but in second place, a few athletes to go. Christoph to go. Yes, Christoph is very good, but it's not a normal yoke, you know. A lot of mistakes can happen. Everything can happen. Good luck. Man. Yeah, thanks. Well, a good honest assessment there from JF Karan. And he moves into second place with a time of 15.29. Radzikowski, leader after two events at the top of the standings. He's looking to add to his tally here and he's flying forward. What pace this is. He's had to stop though. Just loses his momentum. He won't beat Herrick's time, but he'll still get a decent time as he crosses the line. Christoph, second place on this yoke race. How did this feel? Uh, I think one moment I was faster than yoke because it was not so heavy. But problem about balance. It's a very long, long boot. Ten meters. Yes, and problem is 
balance going like this when you won't walk fast then this everything shaking and going back but you're happy with your second place yes i'm happy i'm top good luck thanks a very happy man indeed. 14.88 for Radzikowski, which will put him into second place as we look at the leaderboard from that round. Herrick on top, no one could get near him. Three seconds faster than Radzikowski. So after the third event, Radzikowski holds on to top spot. Karan is three points off the pace in second, and having taken three seconds less than his nearest challenger, Luke Herrick is back in the top three. So the Viking Press is the fourth event here in Norway. There's a platform which puts 165 kilograms onto the arms of the contestants in this one. And the winner is the athlete that lifts the load with the largest number of repetitions. Well, for this event, they compete in pairs. Morten Lund of Denmark will be lifting from the right. Bjorn Solvang on the left of Norway. So we have a watch of him again in event number four. How many reps can they do? So for this event, the athletes competing in pairs. Morten Lund of Denmark on the right-hand side of your picture. Or Bjorn Solvang, the Norwegian, on the left. No time limit. As many reps as possible. Here we go. It's Lund who started the better here. A good momentum early doors, but he's struggling now. Solvang gets into his rhythm, and really strong here. Can he reach double figures? And Lund struggling to reach five at the moment. It's 10 for Solvang. Lund has given up. Solvang goes alone and finishes up on 11. Yeah. Well, not quite the 19 world record repetitions of last year for Solvang. He gets 11 this time around. Less than half of that for Morton Lund, who finishes with five. On to the next two then, Will Baggett from the United Kingdom. He will take on the Swede, Johan Espen Krona. Can either of these two reach the 11 that Bjorn Solvang has registered so far? The other athletes watching on from the side as well. Checking out the competition. Baggett racing into the lead here with five. Can he reach the 11? Well, it's looking unlikely. For Espen Krona, Baggett just gets to eight. Nine is going to be a struggle for him. Can he get it? No, he can't. He'll finish on eight, and Espen Krona settles for five. So eight repetitions for Will Baggett. As he moves into second place, Espen Krona takes five. So J.F. Caron up next. Big meeting here as he comes up against Jürgen Auckland. Competing in his home country. And the clock starts. What can Caron do? He'll be the favourite to register more repetitions in this one, you'd imagine. And he's flying through them at the moment. A really good rhythm. As he heads towards double figures already. Auckland struggling to get near him. Caron on to 11, so he's matched the score. Of Solvang, but he finishes on 12. Just a one more for J.F. Caron. But that extra repetition enough to take him into first place. J.F., 12 repetitions, man. Leading, leading. Yeah, I'm very surprised to beat Bjorn at this event, but I think the two best pressure coming next. I hope uh, my performance was good, but... At least third place is good for me for the seven. So JF Caron with 12 repetitions, the Canadian out in front. Jorgen Auckland could only manage the eight. And what a battle this promises to be. Christoph Radzikowski, the pole up against Luke Herrick. As Caron just said there, two expected to do very well in this event. Imagine they both hit double figures. And they've both started well, neck and neck so far. We will have the willpower to go on. Great concentration from both, really good technique as well. Matikovsky just faltering there, but he gets his rhythm back now. He leads by two. And he moves into first place with 13. 
Can Herrick match it? Yes, he can. So they both get 13. And they are tied at the top. Well, everyone enjoyed that one. What a battle. Wow, guys. Outstanding performance. 13 reps, both, both winning reps. Very well done. I can see that... Maybe you're new, but you're not giving up these leadership so fast, huh? No, I want to put up a fight. <laughs> hey, he, he, he's not easy, huh? No, he's not. <laughs> he's very good presser. 13. 13, you both beat it, uh, Bjorn Solvang and GF Caron, both in the lead with these events. Hey, this was firework. Yeah, it was good. Uh, the weight is heavier than last year. Last year, I remember I do it 14 or 15, now 13. But it's much colder than last year. It was a good result. Luke, happy with this result, 13 reps? Hell yeah, this is right. Radzikowski, I'm very happy. Hey, that's what it is. You equaled him now, almost beat him. What about the power stairs? I'm going to crush him. I'm going to try, but he's got a lot of experience on me, so I'm going to give my best. Well, this is the Polish power. Yes, you can try. <laughs> <laughs> well, done, guys. well, great spirit show by both there, and they're tied at the top. 13 repetitions each means they both get 11 and a half points. Ratajkowski extends his lead and is still first overall. Herrick moves into second, while JF Karan is just half a point behind. There's a big 11 point gap after that, so from the current top three, we'll find the world's strongest Viking in the next two events. We move on to the fifth event. Much expectation for this one, the dreaded power stairs. The contestants are facing a very difficult task indeed. They will carry three blocks that weigh 200, 220 and 230 kilograms of four stairs, so 12 overall in 90 seconds. If they fail to complete the task within the specified time period, the number of stairs which they climb will be counted. Again, this one in pairs. Sean O'Hagan of Ireland on the right. Antti Murayavi of Finland on the left. Well, Hagen with the early pace. So he gets the 200 kilo one on top. Murayavi just behind him. Hagen has clearly been practicing at this one. And he's just got one more to go. Up against the strongest man of Finland. Mohagen is just about done in just over 25 seconds. Muriyavi, just one more step to go and he's completed. Wow, Sean, three of those heavy blocks in 25 <laughs> seconds. Very good time. Yeah, I've been practicing going just fast all the time, so... It's fucked off. Long hands, long arms, long legs, it will help, yeah? Yeah, of course. The height works. So it's all good. Great determination from the Irishman, who never gives up. Muriyavi, just behind him there, 33.59. Jan Olaf Granli of Norway on the left for this one. Up against his fellow countryman, Ole Martin Christiansen. So we know the time to beat. 25.71 and the two Norwegians go head to head Christiansen starting well so Hagen was saying the height important in this one usually do your back in if you're not careful with this one much training required Christiansen looks like he's going to be the first and is in sub 25 seconds not far behind him is Granley but it's Christiansen who goes to the top of the leaderboard after that one? Hey man, well done. 24 seconds, leading time so far. Yeah, let's see if it's old. This is your event, huh? Yeah, we had this event at uh, Norway Strongest Man. I came second there. Who was first there? Jürgen Eriklund. Uh -huh. So we'll see how fast he is now. I think I can beat him. Hey, well done. Thank you. Well, much confidence there from Christiansen. 24.53 for him. Granley just a few seconds behind, 27.54. Well, he thought he could beat Auckland. Did Christiansen up against Will Baggett. He's put in a good showing so far in his debut 
Champions League event. Auckland has done ever so well in the only few seconds. Baggett a bit off the pace at the moment. Auckland has got two up within 14 seconds. So 10 seconds to do the last one. He should do it as well as he moves on to the final step. And it's there. Just under the time. And Auckland has beaten his rival. Baggett still going. One last push. And it's on to the top. Hey, Jürgen, well done, man. Thanks. Ulla Martin just said to me, he says, I think I was better than Jürgen. Well, you proved the opposite. Yeah. <laughs> I just beat him on the strongest man in this event. That's what he just told us. And yeah, he's been telling me all the way since that he's going to crush me the next time. But not today. Not today. Today he was better yeah. and it was a good one. Thanks. Yeah, today was Jorgen Auckland's day, 23.18. The best we've seen so far, but Will Buggett, not a great event for him, 37.18. Bjorn Solvang then, another Norwegian up next to try and beat his fellow countryman's time and JF Karan on the opposite side of the stairs. Karan, absolutely charging through this. Great technique. As he looks to get the second one on before the 14 second mark that Auckland had done. Caron, can he get the time required? 23.18, the time to be just over. So, a very good effort indeed. And Solvang isn't too far behind him as he gets three on top. Found that one pretty tough in the end. But JF Caron moving into second place, just half a second slower than Auckland. Solvang further down with 33 seconds. Luke Herrick, a man who's been in confident mood so far, stands to the left while Radzikowski, the leader of this stage overall so far to the right. This should be an interesting battle. Cole jumping up two feet at a time. Eric on the other side doing well at the same time, although he slips there, that could cost him. Ratikovsky on top with two. Here comes the third. It's just going to fall short of the time required, I think. Just below 25 seconds. Eric still going. All about keeping your concentration once your opponent has finished. And he gets it on top. So Ratikovsky with 25.48 goes into fourth place. Herrick a little bit further down, 33.53. So Jürgen, after all these contestants, you won the power stairs from Christoph, from Caron, and from Ulla Martin. Yeah, that's a great feeling. It's, uh, this is my second uh, Strong Champions League comp competition ever. And my first as the heavyweight, because I was 105 last year. We know. So. To beat these guys the first first time, that's pretty that's pretty sick. I'm really happy. Well, the Norwegian guys took a lot of points from overall leaders in this event as they closed the gap. Auckland and Christensen there in the top three. So the runner-up from last year keeps first place for now, with just two and a half points more than the strongest Viking of last year, Karan, who is just off the pace. Who will be champion? We'll find out after the last event, which is coming next. The action almost over here in the small town of Vinstra, but not before the Atlas Stones. There are four stones which weigh differently, 120, 140, 160 and 180 kilos. The aim of the game is to lift them all onto a platform as fast as possible. Sean O'Hagan, first up for Ireland. How long will it take him? All about the power in the back. Before the lift up, oh, he struggles a little bit with the third one there. Just the 180 kilo one to go. Can he get it up? He's going to do it just under 20 seconds. And he looks pretty chuffed with that. 18.04 for the Irishman. 
Will Baggett from the United Kingdom. Up next, a man not too far away from Hagen in Ireland. He's got to try and beat 18 seconds here. He struggles a little bit more on the second one. Third is going to be a real challenge for him as the stone begins to rotate. Just up there. One more to go. As we pass the 20 second mark. Baggett composes himself. Struggling here for grip by the looks of things on his pads. As we pass the 40 second mark and he's not going to do it. He'll stop at three. The stones, it didn't went that fantastic as you probably wanted. No. But my last question then to you. How was your first Stormy Champions League experience? Absolutely amazing. Norway, look at this beautiful country. It doesn't matter about the cold. I haven't felt cold all day, really. Just been so excited. And it's a great feeling. So, Stormy Champions League is definitely something to come back for you. 100%, yeah. Have me back. I'll do them all. Good man. Thank you very much for being here. Thank you. See you later. We love Stormy Champions League. Yeah, we all love the Champions League. Will Baggett with three stones in the end in a time of 18.68. The Norwegian, Jan Olav Granli, up next. Well, he's going to be lifting close to his own body weight here. Certainly with the first two. Here he goes, spurred on by the crowd watching. The Norwegian deals with the first two, no problem. Three and four to go. Oh, but Stone was rotating a bit there, but he manages to hold on. Number four. Just under 20 seconds for now. Time to beat was 18.04, just over 21 seconds. And the home crowd absolutely delighted. 21.51 in the end for Jan Olaf Granli. Jürgen Auckland won the last event and took 12 points from the power stairs. What can he do with the Atlas Stones? Two up straight away. Everyone can deal with them. Number three on there as well. Steadies himself for the fourth. He's got a couple of seconds if he can do it. He's going to do it under 18, but he does it under 20. And his passion comes out to the surface for all to see. Nineteen point five one. Jürgen Auckland into second place. I'll let Martin Christiansen. Try his best here. First one, no problem. Second one, not far behind. He's got three up here inside 10 seconds. And number four. Can he do it? He can! That's sensational. And we have a new leader as Ole Martin Christensen posts 15.94. Oh, can Jayof Karan top that? He'll have a job on his hands. The Canadian who's been in fine form all afternoon, sitting second in the overall standings at the moment. Three up within 11 seconds. One more to go. He's not going to beat the fastest time, but he'll be right up there with that. JF Caron just behind O'Hagan, a few seconds behind Christensen. He moves into third. GF, last year you won the Stones, now third place so far with Christoph just behind you. What do you expect? Uh, I don't know. Of course, Stone are not the best for Christoph. And I do my best. It's very close in time with Sean, like a few well. tenths of seconds. But I hope he's good for title. It's just 2.5 behind him. I don't know. Christoph, uh, sometimes problem with this, this Stone, but... Last one slip and I lose maybe one second. I don't know, same thing with Power Stair. I'm not so lucky today, but I just wait and cross my finger. Well, you have 18 seconds. There are two athletes with 20 and 21. So if Christoph goes above 21, you will be, again, the new World Strongest Viking. Yes, I hope. Thanks. So as they alluded to there, the time for JF Karan, 18.35, may well be enough for him to win the first stage of the Champions League. Well, Christoph Radzikowski started two and a half points ahead of Karan coming into this round. The final round has Radzikowski got it in him. 
to post a record time. He's going to have to pick up his game here if he is going to. He's not going to make it, is he? And Ratikovsky's struggling on the third stone and Karan knows that he's almost there. A fair play, he's still supporting his fellow athlete. Ratikovsky struggling for grip at the moment. Desperate to get those four stones up just to finish his round. Nearly 40 seconds gone, it's the lowest time we've seen so far, but no, he's done. His stage is over and he gets just two stones. And completing just half of them means that JF Karan is the world's strongest Viking. Jeff, first of all, congratulations. Again, the title, World's Strongest Viking. Thank you, I'm very proud of this. Uh, second time World's Strongest Viking. And uh, I just want to come here and win, that's it. I just have this in my mind since maybe two months. I train really hard and I'm very happy about that. Well, you did, you came, you, you came, you see and you won. Yes, of course. I'm very happy and want to say hello to all my friends in Canada and my family. But I'm really proud and I say to these people, I will bring back the title in Canada. The job is done. Well done, well done, my friend. Christoph, uh, a little bit disappointing. Looked like the same scenario as last year. Yes, last year also I leading all competition and losing last event. I hope in this weather when it's minus 10 we do natural zone. Well, that is for the next year. I want to thank Christoph, GF Kiran. They did an outstanding job. And we will see you next year on this World Strongest Viking. Just to recap on the Atlas Stones, first of all, Ole Martin Christiansen, top of the standing with 15.94. Karan came in third, so it's enough for him to defend his title from the event last year, while Radzikowski again has to set up a second place in the quest to be the world's strongest Viking. Elsewhere, a first competition is also a first podium for Luke Herrick. First up in third place, Luke Herrick, who will be more than happy, you'd imagine, with his showing in his debut competition. All the way from the USA. A bit closer to home, Krzysztof Ratikowski of Poland. He comes second for the second year running here in Norway. He collects his prizes and the winner all the way from Canada, JF Caron, the world's strongest Viking for 2017. There is no stopping this man. Smiles all round, JF Caron was a cut above the rest. GF, all the way from Canada, you came again to Viking land and you kept the crown and win the yellow leader shirt. Hey, well done, man. Yeah, thank you, Marcel. I'm very happy about that. And now uh, we see other competitor in FIBO with this yellow shirt. And I hope this year I win this competition because I always on podium, but <laughs> ne never win at that place. But I'm very proud that trophy is my third year. First time I come here, I'm be on podium in third place. And now two wins in a row. Um, very uh, as you said, the leader shirt to have that is not easy. It looks like every athlete who got the leader shirt has like lead on his shoulders. You know, it's heavy, it's tough. But maybe you succeed this year till all the end and get the world title 2017. Yes, it's my goal, of course. Uh, I don't know if uh, I can compete a lot in Champions League this year because all the time in summer we have big summer uh, in Canada, but this year we have Champions League also in Canada. It's good for me, but uh, with the title in 2017 is my goal, of course. Well, we know how this experience, out of 16 stages, if you succeed five stages in the top three, you'll probably be in the finals, in the top 10 of the world. And we hope to see you there in the finals like last year, hey, and maybe this year taking the title. Yes, of course, I just hope to uh, came there in uh, good shape. So there it is, confirmation once again that JF Caron is the world's strongest Viking for a second year in succession. He takes 25 points with him towards the next stage, which will be in Germany. Until then, from all of us here, it's goodbye for now. <laughs>